Welcome back to the Light Ted Online Video Show brought to you by Keystone Technologies. Go to K-E-Y-S-T-O-N-E-T-E-C-H dot com, Greggy, KeystoneTech.com. Yeah, how many times do you need to hear from us? Just go to the website, just check it out. There. Come on, son. What are you <laughs> thinking about? So uh, we just did a, a Get a Grip on Lighting podcast and we closed the show off and then we had this amazing part at the end of the show that we thought was the best part, so we turned it into a Light Ted Online Video Show. Hope you enjoy it. I thought it was fun. I mean, uh, I mean, you're in a busy space, dude. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on around this, right? So yeah. um, it, we're we're interested to see how it all, all evolves as well. It's, uh, you know, you can't predict the future 20 years out. Um, what I do think is that the next three to five years is going to have a lot of activity and sort of interest in the space. So um, we're going to make a lot of that. I think the key is the real key to this is it, this none of this stuff has ever got out of the early adopter phase. You know, all, all the lighting control systems, like Greg, you walk into 100 buildings, how many of them have occupancy sensors or lighting controls of some kind? Five? Ten? Yeah, uh, maybe 10%. Something like that. Yeah. I mean, none of this type, like I call it the lighting control boom bust cycle. Um, like something comes out, they, they go do it, blah, 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 blah. And there's a, you know, uh, an issue. Is this going to be the time? If we could get, like right now, we sell light bulbs every day, Greg and I, we go around and we sell light bulbs to people. And if we could get, you know, people to really want this, if they wanted it, they want LEDs, they want lighting controls, Greg. I don't know. Yeah, not necessarily. We don't get a lot of requests for it. Like we're practitioners. We're in the field, right? So... It's interesting. Is now the time that the public's going to say, "I want that oral light switch, man. Give it to me now." You know, I mean, even with Nest, you know, Nest. Mm -hmm. You go to Home Depot, you see Nest. You walk into someone's home. One I, I mean, who knows what uh, people buy the most? Probably consolidated body of data. It's probably Amazon. Uh, yeah, probably. You go to a Smart Home. The number one category. In smart home is, is lighting and lighting controls. Uh, the, I mean, I know that Amazon's invested in our company, so I know quite a bit more. Um, the number one product that people buy after buying a smart speaker is a lighting control on Amazon. So uh, there's certainly a movement. You tell me market. number one, number two is a lighting control? The, sec the number one product purchased after a person gets a voice assistant product Right, so a, an Echo or a Google oh, Assistant is a lighting control product. A light switch to go with it. You know, a light, yeah, exactly. You know, a light switch. Um, hmm. I mean, I, I think theoretically you can say it, like a smart bulb. I think that's really lighting control. It's not about, oh, these like hmm. little two bulbs are good lights. It's that they have the control capability attached to them. Um, and, and, you know, there are quite a few people, whether it's part of the bust or not, you know, I'm not going to debate whether those, those cycles exist, whether we're in one right now and we break out of it or not, I'm not a profit. So, um, well, then the, you're off the show forever. I want profits. <laughs> all right. Um, both kinds, both kinds, cash and people that tell you what's going to, I think they're actually one and the same. But like, go, if you go to YouTube and you, you look up. Amazon and Google's like all their advertisements for their smart assistants. Every single one of those ads has a light control use case in it. Bet. So, uh, um, you know, there's a bit of market development going on at, at places with far bigger budgets than I do. Um, that think that, you know, whether that ends up being the, the number one use case or not, um, we'll see. Um, but it, it's certainly appearing to be close to that today, at least on Amazon. All right. Well, lots of fun. All right, call cool. All right, gentlemen. I'm out. See you in time. Bye. Talk to you. Bye. Yep. Bye. This episode of the Light Ted Online Video Show was brought to you by Keystone Technologies. Go to K E Y S T O N E C K K E Y S T O N E T E C H dot com. Light made easy. The retrofit kings. Thank you, Colin Billings, for the after podcast that turned into a Light Ted Online Video Show. Hope you enjoyed it, folks.